Welcome. Today we're going to look at Things 3 counter integration to show you how it works, how you can show your meetings on your Things 3 upcoming lists and your today lists because it just makes organizing things easier. If you like this video, you could support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, and then you can take this course on Things 3. Or if you'd just rather take it on Skillshare, you can find a link to the course on Skillshare below. Have an awesome day. Welcome in this lesson. We're going to look at the calendar integration for Things 3. One thing I often have to deal with because I'm a dad, I've got three kids, my wife works in the evenings, so I have to take all the kids to, out to their sports, is different uh, activities that come up in my day, right? On top of meetings, on top of everything else, I've got, just got a lot of stuff going on. That's one place where the Things 3 calendar integration can really help me. So if you don't have a calendar integration turned on, you'll often see a dialogue here uh, telling you, you can turn it on. So if I hit no thanks, it'll disappear and I won't see it again. Um, but if I hit show events, it'll take me and just show me the events. Now you access that by going to your settings, uh, which I access by hitting command comma. You go to calendar and then it would be toggled off, toggled on. So this is where I can even select certain calendars I don't want. Um, so let's have the adults. That's our family calendar just for the adults, family. Some of my children get um, access to that as well, right? Uh, I don't need client schedule. I don't need contacts. I don't need streak. Um, I need my wife's calendar. I don't need those contacts. I don't need multiple. I need, do need that one. So now I have a list of things that um, are upcoming for me, right? I can see tomorrow I have, or nope. So this is just kind of a blocker for my own calendaring system. Um, it kind of overlaps with the meeting. So I don't have extra calendars uh, or extra meetings come in from Calendly. I have a release all day. And my wife works at uh, 15.30, 3.30. Uh, and just gives me the idea of what's going on. You also see calendar events in the today view. So I can see that today is Thanksgiving. Uh, and then it says here that my wife works and my daughter skates. They don't actually do that today. Uh, it's just still on the calendar for some reason. So this is useful in planning, especially in the upcoming view, and we'll cover that in a later video and how I use it to do some planning with um, my tasks for uh, so I don't get myself overloaded for a day. Now, my biggest issue with the calendar view is that there's no week view, like you'd see in a tool like TickTick, -Tick, where I can actually drag tasks out to the week, and I can really dig into what I need to do for the week and schedule my tasks appropriately in the midst of all my meetings. In the next lesson, we'll look at Things 3 Search.